A vector is a physical quantity that has both a magnitude and a direction. A physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. A good example of a vector is displacement, velocity, and acceleration. While on the other hand, we have a scalar. A scalar is a physical quantity that has only magnitude. An example of a scalar is mass, time, distance and speed in 2.2 peter stands at the front door of his house avogadro street is 25 meters away from the front door peter walks to avogadro street and back to the front door of his house so he walks to the street and then walks back again to his house the first question 2.2.1 what is the distance that peter has worked so we need to be asking ourselves is distance a scalar or a vector distance is a scalar it only has magnitude it is defined as the total length of the path taken from one point to another the total length of the path taken from one point to another in our scenario peter goes from the house to Avogadro's street. What is the distance from the house to Avogadro street? That is 25 meters. And then again, it goes from the street back to the house. That is another distance of 25 meters. The key word here is distance. So the total distance that Peter has traveled will be equals to the 25 meters from the house to the street plus the other 25 meters from the street to the house, which will give us a total of 50 meters. So this is the distance that Peter has traveled. What about the displacement? Is the displacement also 50 meters? Bear in mind that the distance is a scalar and the displacement is a vector. That is 2.2.2. The question is saying, let's write Peter's final displacement. So let's just remind ourselves what displacement is. The displacement is the change in an object's position. It is not the total distance traveled or the length of the path taken. No, it is the change in the object's position. So Peter starts at his house, obviously, and then he goes to the street. From the street, he walks back to the house. So what is the change in Peter's position? Peter is exactly where he started there is no change in his position so the displacement peter's displacement in this case will be equals to zero meters because there's no change in his position the distance is 50 meters because distance is defined as the length of the path taken but the displacement is zero meters because the displacement is defined as the change in an object's position. Let's look at 2.2.3. Is displacement a vector or a scalar? Give a reason for your answer. Well, at this point, we know that displacement is a vector. And the reason for that is because uh, we have a magnitude for displacement and we also have a direction. If a physical quantity has magnitude, and direction then it is a vector if it only consists of magnitude then that's what we call a scalar 